Today, we're gonna make a ring jump. We have two different rings here. Both are made of aluminum. Aluminum is not magnetic, as you can see. One is thicker than the other. We will cause it to jump, though, by putting it onto this coil. When I press the button, a current will be generated in the coil, which will generate a magnetic field. The magnetic field will pass through the ring, which will generate a current in the ring, which will create a magnetic force on the ring, causing it to jump. What I want you to do is make a guess which one of these rings is going to jump higher. Let's jump! So, you clearly saw that the thick ring went higher. Many of you might have guessed that the thick ring would go lower. The reason it doesn't jump as high has to do with resistance. When we look at resistance for any wire, resistance is a factor of the material it's made of, the thickness of the material, and the length of the wire. So, when we look at all of those factors, a thicker wire does not have as much resistance so it has a larger current that can pass through it. So the current that passed through the thick wire, or the thick ring, was larger than the thin ring, thus creating a stronger magnetic force on the thick ring. But now, we're going to try this again, but this time I'm going to cool them down using liquid nitrogen. Let's see which one's going to jump higher. Let's jump! <laughs> Did you see it hit the ceiling? So why did the thinner ring jump higher this time? The difference is temperature. When we decrease the temperature of both rings, the resistance of both rings effectively became the same. Thus, the force on the larger ring wasn't enough to cause it to jump as high due to its larger mass. May the force be with you, and with physics, always.